my biggest challenge, I think, on a personal level, is has been a case of being able to to stop and take time to listen to God for myself. And so, having been um, moved into a new context, the place where we've we've been for the last few months, my straight away my temptation is to want to to jump in and do stuff because I'm a doing kind of person. Especially having a kind of salary church position as well, there's a real kind of, there's also, also almost a kind of pressure in the back of your mind that you're thinking, I should be doing something, I need to justify my role, my job, um, I need to justify my salary. And so it's a real challenge to actually say, God, I'm going to trust you, I'm going to listen to uh, the people that you're drawing me to meet, and I'm going to trust that you're at work in this, and I'm going to do nothing and just wait and try and discern and see what emerges. I think the biggest challenge regarding the Fresh Expression I work with is people's expectation. Um, not just people that come along who think they know what they're going to uh, encounter or what they're not going to encounter, but also from all manner of wider authorities. Um, so X, Y or Z makes it uh, legitimate or A, B and C doesn't make it legitimate. I think that's, uh, that it can be a challenge, what the outside views, what's going on. But um, despite that, uh, I feel like we've got a really great opportunity here to do something really positive and I hope I'm able to blank out some of the, the white noise behind us that might enable me to uh, purposefully drive forward in my task. I think the biggest challenge is trying to get people alongside you, build up a team, uh, find others who are like-minded. Um, I found that to be a real struggle. Um, having been working within the inherited church, so sent by them, um, I found that there tends to be a bit of resistance. Even though people kind of want the change, they know that something's got to change, um, that process is still quite difficult. And so I'm finding that in everything that I'm doing, I'm having to bring them alongside with me. Um, also, I think trying to get the young people on board and trying to um, disciple them in such a way that kind of contradicts how they might have been taught in the past, that church is a consumerist, I get what I want um, kind of culture, to actually church isn't about me, it's about other people and wanting them to engage with that. Um, but also just trying to find out where 20s and 30s are in Shropshire. They seem to be quite few and far between, so um, a lot of my work at the moment is just hanging around in cafes and pubs, um, and walking the dog, and to others that might just see, seem kind of a bit lazy. Um, not really work, but I'm just really blessed that I've been able to be kind of paid really to be able to do those things and try and connect with others in my age group. I think the biggest challenge for us is probably working out how to do mission when people are young adults who are all grappling with the issues of I'm starting work, um, am I going to get into a relationship, am I buying a house, I've just got all this money, so dealing with people who are having all those questions then also encouraging them to be missional where they find themselves, especially if they've been students, where it's been quite easy to be missional because they're living with non-Christians, they're, they're working alongside them and suddenly they get into the workplace and maybe they commute to a job, it's like their whole life has changed a lot, so it's working out how to, how does, what does it look like to be like Jesus where I am now, because um, it might look quite different from being a student, so I think helping them to process that transition and to keep them passionate and let the, their, I think a lot of young adults start the beginning of their 20s feeling like I'm going to really do stuff for Jesus, it's going to be really exciting and get later on in life. Um, a few years in and life has just become mundane, mundane and I suppose giving them a credible challenge into that would be a challenge at the moment. The new form of church community has grown up from young people and uh, I think we're in a place where the community aspect of it is very very good, the discipleship is very good, we raise up leaders well. The struggle that we sometimes can have is um, with a sense of insularity perhaps, how can we connect with new young adults um, and where, what are the places that we can go to, what, what, where is community happening for young adults, how can we go into those places and build new relationships. Um, there can be a sense that once you've established something that's really good, you need to fight to keep that mission edge there. I think thinking through what discipleship looks like, the community that I lead of young adults is very varied, we've got people from different backgrounds, different socio-economic groups, 
we've got people from lots of different countries. Um, English is a second language for many of them. What does discipleship look like when you can't just sit down and get a Bible out and do a discussion? Um, yeah, so what does discipleship look like, I suppose, in a more creative way or alternative way? Um, yeah, I suppose I have been challenged by Beth's research that we're about creating a community, creating a place where people can doubt or whatever, but actually, are we making? am I making disciples? That's my challenge, I suppose, to myself as a result of hearing this research.